Yo, what's up, my people? Ty here, and today I'll be talking about the all new Samsung M8 monitor. Now, this monitor is special in the sense that it's supposed to be an all in one monitor. Samsung claims that it is going to be great for both entertainment as well as productivity. Now, will this 850 Canadian dollar monitor be a jack of all trade and master of all? Come with me and let's find out. This monitor is very similar to the look of the iMac in my opinion. You can get it in four different colors, spring green, daylight blue, warm white, and sunset pink. Now this ultra thin, ultra flat monitor is a 32 inch 4K UHD LED panel and it has a 60 hertz refresh rate as well as a 4 milliseconds response time. Now, this thing has a resolution of 3840 by 2160. Now, talking about the entertainment features of this monitor, it actually has HDR 10 plus, which makes it fantastic for watching 4K content on both the Amazon video as well as Netflix, but it has to be HDR 10 plus content though for you to be able to actually enjoy the benefits of that panel on it it is also equipped with ambient lighting so essentially the same technology on your phone the lighting on the display changes depending on the brightness of the room automatically now it is also equipped with inbuilt speakers that's also adaptive as well so depending on the sound around it would raise or reduce the the audio quality unfortunately this monitor is not VESA mount compatible so that means that if you plan to use a monitor arm or mount it up against the wall you're gonna have to get like one of those VESA adapters for this monitor to be able to use it now moving on to the back side of this monitor there are three ports at the back two of which are USB-C and the, uh, the last one is a mini HDMI port now the USB-C is capable of power delivery and signal transmission so which means that you can charge your laptop and display your laptop as well using the essentially the same cable now the mini HDMI cable is useful for things like console so for the PlayStation or the Xbox in the box they are provided some accessories you have the Samsung TV remote this remote looks like most of Samsung's uh, TV remotes. I have a Samsung TV myself and the remote kind of looks pretty much identical and functions the same. We also have in the box a USB-C cable. It's useful for that USB port that's behind the monitor as well. Now, they also provided a mini HDMI cable to a standard HDMI cable. So that mini HDMI cable on the back of the monitor, you can use that and then plug it to a regular sized HDMI cable like your console as I had earlier mentioned. Another item that's included in the box is something Samsung calls the Slim Fit Camera. It is essentially a webcam camera and it is a very good one at that. It is tiltable and detachable. It attaches to the monitor via a magnetic connector and it also comes with a privacy cover for those that are worried about privacy. The web camera is also smart. It tends to track you and auto focuses on you during any teleconferencing or video conferencing applications. I have used it in Teams and Zoom and they've worked. Moving on to the powerhouse of this monitor, it is the operating system. Now, the operating system is Tizen, which is Samsung's very own in-house operating system. This is what they use in most of their newer TVs and even some of their tablets as well. Now, having Tizen on this monitor can actually gives it the capability to run a lot of those apps that are on the TV. So you can actually have access to Netflix, Hulu, uh, Disney, YouTube, you even have access to the Samsung App Store where you can even download other apps as well. Now, one of the strengths of this monitor is the connectivity options. On the wide side of things, you can actually connect your laptop. I actually connected my MacBook, my iPad, my phone, and even my Dell Windows 11 laptop as well, and they all work just fine. On the wireless side of things, you actually have access to Apple AirPlay. So you can essentially cast your iPhone, iPad, MacBook, iMac, whatever Apple products, you can cast their displays onto this display and you can use two different configurations. You can either do a mirror or you can do a screen extend. I love to do the screen extend because it kind of gives me extra real estate to do more things while I'm using the other screen for something else. Now, this is not just limited to Apple devices. You can also cast Windows devices as well. I'm, I was able to mirror my Windows 11 laptop as well onto this display. Another thing this monitor is equipped with is voice assistant. Now, it is equipped with the Amazon Alexa as well as the Bixby assistant. 
I'm not a fan of both of them. I kind of use Siri right now. So for me, I didn't even bother setting up those features because I was not interested in using them. However, it is also equipped with the Samsung SmartThings IoT Orb. Now, you still need a separate Orb to connect all of your devices to. All this monitor does is it connects to your SmartThings Orb and then it can communicate with devices that are connected to your SmartThings Orb. Now, one of the features I've really enjoyed about this monitor is that the connectivity option in the sense that you can actually have dual setup on this monitor. So I was able to connect my Windows laptop as well as my MacBook or my Windows laptop and my iPad so I can use the wired and the wireless combination. I can use the two devices at the same time. Like for my work laptop, I use a Windows 11 laptop and my personal laptop is a MacBook. So this that monitor gives you or gives me the opportunity to be able to use both devices at the same time. And you can actually change the orientation. You can actually do a 50-50 split or you can do a 70-30 split or you can even do something called the picture in picture mode where in this case, I'm actually watching the Samsung TV plus. So that's uh, basically Samsung's TV services. I can actually have it in a, you know, I can actually have it at the bottom here up there. I can kind of move it around the screen however I want, but I'm not just limited to just this Samsung TV plus. I can actually pro project my windows laptop as well in there or my iPad, or I can use one of the other apps that are available on the title it kind of gives you a whole lot of different arrangement and i really love the fact that this actually lets me do that and the fact that i actually connect it wirelessly as well to say my ipad or my macbook i love that about this monitor now moving on to my verdict about this monitor at 850 canadian dollar i think that this monitor is a little bit overpriced because one of the issues I had with this monitor is the color accuracy of the monitor. So if you do a lot of color grading, color correction, anything that requires colors, this monitor kind of sucks when it comes to that regard. Out of the box, I noticed that the display was just very dark and it wasn't quite representative of the true colors of the, you know, the images I was dealing with. It's very prominent, especially when I'm working with my MacBook because my MacBook actually has an OLED display. So whenever I'm editing something on my MacBook and I drag it onto the display of this monitor, the color just gets completely different. Now, I have tried to use the expert settings to adjust and tweak the monitor settings, but I find out that anytime I try to make changes, it messes up with the other display inputs I use. So by the time I switch to my Windows laptop and I want to use it for my actual emails and my actual work stuff, the whole thing gets really distorted and I have to make changes again. Now this back and forth is a pain in the butt for me. So that is a really, really downside of this monitor for me. And another thing where this monitor was supposed to excel was the entertainment side. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, I'd rather not be sitting on my chair and watching Netflix. I'd rather, you know, be on the couch or kicking back on my bed while I watch Netflix. So I don't really see the benefit of, you know, having this on my desk while I'm trying to work. It just is a distraction and I can't even, I'm not gonna have fun, you know, watching Netflix while I sit down on my desk chair. But for gamers, however, this will be fantastic. So if you have a console, right, you wanna be able to play your Xbox or your PlayStation. But the other problem with that is that this only goes up to 60 Hertz refresh rate. I mean, now monitors go up to 240 Hertz, so, Somebody with a 240 hours refresh rate will definitely always have an edge over you, especially for serious gamers. They would always they would have seen the next object before you even just get that refresh and sees it and they will have killed you. Game over. So that kind of just sucks with this monitor because it's not, I don't think any serious gamer would consider this as an option. But now that the thing is actually on sale right now for 499 Canadian dollar. I think now is a great time to buy this monitor if you wanted to get it. it at that price point, I think it's, it's, it offers reasonable value. When you look at all the wireless connectivity, all the features, the perks, the aesthetic value of it, I think at that price point, it is a good buy. But besides anything, besides that price point, at $899, I definitely would not recommend this monitor for that price point because you can go out there and buy uh, Amazon TV as well as another monitor. So basically you get two for one for that price point. But thank you so much for joining me on this video and I hope that it's been very informative for you. And um, feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section. I'd like to know what you think about this monitor. And um, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and 
If this is your first time on the channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.